guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel, a channel about real estate, personal finance, and business. Uptown Cagayan de Oro is one of the most desirable and progressive areas to live and work in. It's the BGC of Cagayan de Oro. For, so for those who are not familiar with CDO, it's divided into two main areas. The Uptown area, which is the area around SM City Mall, where the airport used to be located. It's called Uptown area because it's 130 meters above, above sea level and it's a new, it's a whole community, a complete community in itself. It has a mall, a township, schools, retail areas, plus several condos. There's also a hospital that's currently being constructed in front of Savior Estates, and Gaisano will also be building another mall in front of Gran Europa. So aside from this, four new townships will be rising in this area. So one is by Pablo de Oro, just ahead of Gulf Estates, another by A. Brown called Central Uptown Business District, the third will be by John Dorf, Orchard District, and the fourth is Pontefino Estates by Fino Land. So if you live and work in this area, there's practically no reason why you need to go downtown because everything you need is already here. When the pandemic started, a lot of businesses in the downtown area, Divisoria mainly, closed down. Our businesses were casualties as well. And this was because the customer base of businesses located in the Divisoria area are students. And when the government implemented homeschooling, there were no more customers. But although businesses in the downtown area slowed down, the opposite happened in the uptown area. Business in the uptown area picked up despite the pandemic. The main reason for this is strong customer base. There are a lot of high-end subdivisions that surround Pueblo de Oro Business Park, which is currently the business center of the uptown area. And the residents of these subdivisions have strong buying power since many have been avoiding going out because of the pandemic instead of going downtown to shop these residents have been patronizing the commercial businesses and establishments in and around Pueblo Business Park instead. Plus, another factor also is the parking. Divisoria doesn't have proper parking, while uptown, there's still a lot of parking space to go around. So that's also a factor. Now, for those who are not from Cagayan de Oro, Pueblo Business Park is a master-planned 23-hectare commercial business district designed for large corporations as well as small and medium enterprises. It's currently the central business district of Uptown Cagayan de Oro. So if you're looking to expand your business in the Uptown area, we have three listings that you may be interested in. The first lot is a hidden gem because it's below, below, below market value. The residential lots Uptown are already at 15 to 20,000 per square, while commercial lots in Business Park are at 40 to 45 thousand per square so this lot fronting Vilmiro Heights is only 13,000 per square meter it's super super affordable but that's already the last price of the owner so if you have a buy if you're a buyer looking to invest in a commercial lot please don't haggle anymore because that's the last price of the owner it's already very low it's just a few minutes drive from Pablo Business Park it's in front of Vilmiro Heights within walking distance from Savior High and grade school. So you can really develop this area into a mixed use development. You can maybe put a condo or apartment complex here. If you're looking for a lot in Pueblo Business Park, we also have that. We have a 963 square meter lot in Business Park. So as you can see, it's like at the back of SM City Mall. Title is already clean and it's priced at 42 million. So that's about 43, around 43,000 per square meter. And then we have another lot in Business Park. So this is just very near SM Mall. It's more than a thousand square meters and it's at 45 million. Now I can't post the map of this because the owner won't allow us to post it. So if you want to know more details about this particular listing, then just contact me. So as you can see from the drone shots, Pueblo Business Park is really a thriving space in the Uptown area. Currently, there are about five food parks in this area, but they have like short-term lease from, from Pueblo. So the purpose of these food parks is to just, you know, pick up the vibe to let, let more people come into the space. And there are also a couple of commercial buildings that have already been finished aside from the condominiums that are already there in the uptown area. So again, for the condos, there are three finished condos there. We have Primavera Residences and then right in front of that is Primavera 
uh, is Grand Via, Grand Via Residences, and then we also have Grand Via Suites at the back. And then we have Concentrix just right beside Grand Via. And then we have one, we have VLC. We have VLC Commercial Tower. And also we have another commercial building at the back of Blue Energy where H Proper Coffee Shop is located. So there are also car showrooms in this area. Of course, as a mall, one of the first commercial commercial buildings in the uptown area. And then we for the condominium projects there, we have the residential loft. We have SMDC in front of the loft and Primavera City, which is really a city because it's like six towers. So five mid-rise towers and there's one high-rise tower that they are planning to turn into a hotel. So it's very progressive. The uptown area is very progressive. And I hope you can also find your space within this area because a lot of businesses are already transferring to the uptown area. Okay, so I hope I was able to provide value to you today. If you have any questions, just comment in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.